Hey everyone and welcome back to another 3D Revolution. In this video we're going to be looking at how to use shapes and even other models as negative volumes to make cutouts in existing objects within Prusa Slicer. Let's have a look. You may have downloaded something from principles.com or thingiverse.com, only have the STL, but would like to be able to make some changes like adding some screw holes. Well, with negative volumes in Prusa Slicer, you can do just that. You can create rudimentary shapes like cubes and cylinders and deduct them from the space of your original model. So for screw holes, you could create cylinders, size them in the size that you need, position them where you want the screw holes, and then you'd be able to deduct the size of those cylinders from the STL before slicing. But in addition to creating negative volumes with rudimentary shapes, you can also use other STLs, meaning that you can create a negative volume in something which perfectly fits with another existing design. So let's have a look at how to create negative volumes in Perusa Slicer. So to create a negative volume, right click on your model, either on the print bed or on the menu on the right hand side, and then go down to add negative volume. And for now, we're just gonna select a box. So this creates a cube and you can resize it, you can move it around, you can rotate it, and then any area within that box of the model that you've applied it to, when you slice it will be removed. So let's have a look at that. And you can see the area within the box has been removed from the benchy. Let's get rid of the box. You could do the same thing if you wanted to create for example, a screw hole in your model, we'd select a cylinder, you'd then resize this to whatever size screw hole you need. And then position that where you want the screw hole. And then if you slice that, you'll now get the perfect screw hole where you need it. So let's remove that. Now, negative volumes don't just need to be selected from these simple shapes here. You've got box, cylinder, sphere, and slab, but you can also load a file. So let's just try something sec. Let's get rid of the benchy. I'm gonna bring in just a cube STL that I've made. And then we're going to right click on this, add negative volume, and then load. And then we're going to load the Kali Dragon. So you can see now it's created a negative volume space in the shape of the Kali Dragon. So what this means is if I was to have this intersecting with my cube STL and then I slice it, the area it was intersecting with has been removed from the cube. So there's a lot of things this could be particularly useful for. In addition to creating negative volumes, you can also create positive volumes. If you go add part, you've got the exact same features, but uh, let's select the Kali Dragon. What this will do is rather than removing the intersecting parts, it will add them. So let's go to move. There we go. Now, if we slice that, that has then been treated as a single model. It means that if you apply any features or settings specifically to this model, it's going to be applied to it as a whole rather than two models that are overlapping. Okay, well, that's how you create negative and positive space within Prusa Slicer. Well, I hope that's given you a better understanding of negative volumes in Prusa Slicer, how to create them and how to use them. If you've got any questions, make sure you pop them in the comments below. Otherwise, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks very much.